So today we're going to be doing a matcha that has been so popular in the DT community and with myself. Um, so we're going to be doing Strawberry Matcha by David's Tea. So this is a matcha. I'm not even sure when this originally came out. I want to say it's a newer core matcha, like maybe two or three years old now. I know at one point I tried to look for this matcha for like the longest time. I know it came for a bit and then retired and then came back. So it is currently available for $9.98 for 50 grams. So it's just the regular matcha price. This is a sweetened matcha. So it's just $9.98 per 50 grams. It says this all natural blend of matcha green tea powder, cane sugar and wild strawberry is a sweet way to power up. Packed with all the mega healthy benefits of matcha, you're going to want to add a spoonful to all of your favorite drinks. From strawberry milkshakes and powerhouse smoothie bowls to energizing iced lattes. With a fruit matcha this good, going green has never been easier. Ingredients are cane sugar, matcha green tea, and natural strawberry flavoring. So, <clears throat> I made it as an iced latte this morning. How I make all my matchas. Um, I have tried making matcha hot. Some people are like, oh my god, I love it hot. I can't stand matcha hot. I just, it, it bothers me. It tastes different. I, I I don't like it hot. I will always make it as an iced latte or iced. Iced, uh, I don't make it iced often. In order for me to make it matcha ice, I, I'd have to like run out of milk or have no milk in the house in order to make it iced. But in this case, it's an iced latte. So I have my strawberry matcha in this huge mega tin. This is the toucan mega tin that came out... Thrive Collection 2018, yeah, 2018 or 2019? No, 2018 this came out. This is, came out with the Llama, the Horchacha tea, the uh, Pear Blossom tea, that whole collection. Uh, I think it was August, September that collection came out. Anyways, I love it. Um, I have it in this tin. I just have it labeled here. Um, I don't drink this one too, too often. I kind of, I don't even know why I hoard this tea. I don't really hoard it. I just don't drink it. I have a mega tin about half full. Um, nothing really special. Um, it smells, it just smells like any regular matcha to me. I feel like the flavored matchas, like any matcha I smell just smells like green tea. I don't know. It just smells like matcha. Like I don't get any other scent from it. Maybe my scent buds are like messed up, but anyways, so this matcha is pretty popular. I have heard people say that it tastes like the Nesquik strawberry milkshake, which I have tried. Um, and I've tried this. This also tastes like the, um, oh, what is it called? It's called like the beneficial breakfast or the, oh, I'm trying to remember. It's like that instant breakfast powder. It came with vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. I know Costco sold it at one point. I drank that all the time as a kid. And whenever I would run out of the strawberry, I'd be like so devastated. My mom would have to buy more. So, um, the strawberry is clearly my favorite. And, um, I just, I love this matcha so much. So this is more, I wouldn't say this is very artificial tasting. This doesn't taste like an artificial strawberry. So I've had artificial strawberry candy before. Um, Jolly Ranchers, they came out with a Righteous Red collection. And if you guys don't know what Jolly Ranchers are, I don't know which world you're living in, but it's like a hard candy, a fruity hard candy. And they had a strawberry flavor at one point. <clears throat> and that is literally my favorite Jolly Rancher flavor. It is so good. This is more of like a fresh, stro fresh picked strawberry flavor. This I don't think this is artificial tasting whatsoever. It does come off as that strawberry nest quick vibe, but it's not like an artificial strawberry. Like when I drink this, I don't think of like a strawberry milkshake or like strawberry. Oh, strawberry ice cream is a little, uh, it's a little like comparison to that. But the green tea goes really well with the strawberry because it doesn't bring out too much of a sweetness this matcha it's on the sweeter side but it's not bad it's not as sweet as um cherry blossom matcha that is a, i think cherry blossom matcha is the sweetest matcha david c has come out with i or candy cane matcha is pretty bad too well not bad but sweetness in the bad level um but i really like this matcha this is one of my favorite matchas not in my top three but definitely a favorite um if this does retire by the way they just came out if you guys are unaware, they just came out with a list of retiring teas. Thank God nothing good is on there that's retiring besides Mango Boost. I might have to stock up on Mango Boost because that's literally the only tea on there that I'm just like, what? But it doesn't make sense. They're they're retiring Mango Boost but not Mango Ice Cream. I mean, I don't want either to retire, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I don't know. I feel like they don't think sometimes David's tea. Like, they have, like, 
like other tea i know everyone has their likes for separate teas or different teas or you know different kinds of tea but they retire ones that people love and then keep the ones that people hate like you know what i think they should do i think that they should take the whole list of teas by review being lowest reviewed or lowest starred to like the five star review and then take the first 20 of the low star and just retire them because no one's buying them anyways no one likes them i don't understand why they're retiring mango boost that's literally one of the best teas that they've come out with i'm gonna have to iso it again but i don't know i don't have the funds right now to buy more and stock up but then also they might not even retire it and they, it's probably just like a gig for them to buy it in bulk or something um this one uh another member of the group um serenity on youtube uh she even commented saying oh it's probably just like a gig to get them to buy in bulk which i agree with her because i'm like even some of the teas they're retiring it's like uh earl gray matcha um chocolate hazelnut or not chocolate hazelnut um not chocolate hazel what is it called earl chocolate earl gray i'm like they just came out with these teas so why are they retiring them like two months later even strawberries and cream i don't think that one was too popular but they're retiring it already anyways rant 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 like shut up alex <laughs> um anyways back to this review would i repurchase this matcha yes would i stock up i've kind of stocked up um i'm about halfway there if you guys have not tried this matcha please try it make it as a nice latte it tastes like nesquik um quick milk strawberry quick milk i don't know um rating out of 10 this one's a solid 9 out of 10 this is one of their best matchas that they've come out with they did a really really good job with this the flavor is not too light the flavor isn't too sweet it's not artificial it's pretty fresh tasting strawberry flavor so they got it good there so yeah um if they do end up retiring this by the way the only retired matcha I th that I saw is mocha matcha, which I don't really care about. I've never tried it. Don't like mocha, so it's not really a bother to me. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not tried this, please try it. It is available on the site. I don't think it's on sale. I know some of the matchas are on sale because they're doing this weird 25% off on certain teas and matchas. But um, yeah, please try this matcha if you already haven't. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, that was my review on David's Tea Strawberry Matcha. Let me know what you guys think of this tea in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.